Okay, um, Virgo. I'm doing your romance of a lifetime reading. How are you guys? I hope everybody's doing well. All right. Ooh, um, I'm hearing that song by Tiny X8. You're my little secret, and that's how we're going to keep it. I won't tell, you won't tell. So, um, you're a secret? Are you a secret? Is somebody holding you a secret from someone? Or is this you? Okay, so romance of a lifetime reading. We're going to see what's going on. If it even comes out. But that's what I was hearing when I was doing you guys. Hmm. Okay, so see get some cards to come out again like share hit the notification um hit your notification button to be notified when i post a video you guys okay um new viewers welcome thank you for stopping by checking out my channel sit back enjoy your romance of a lifetime reading subscribe i'd love to have you as a subscriber don't forget to check out the fist benefit site in my description box below you guys um especially if you're on a diet journey okay Right, this late young lady who owns the site has a lot of um, new items on her site that can help you on your diet journey. So, you know, um, check it out. You know, invest in something that you like. Refer her website to someone else. She's doing well. She's a very young, young lady doing her thing. Okay. So, you know, invest. We have to help our people. Okay. So well, here we go. Let's get some cards. Romance of a lifetime. For Virgo's energies, please. Okay, romance of a lifetime. For Virgo's energies, please. Okay, there you go. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. Aquarius energy here. We have the Knight of Swords, Gemini. It's flipped up. We have the Three of Wands, Sag Leo Aries. We have the Three of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We have the Ace of Wands, Sag Leo Aries energy again. We have the Eight of Wands, Sag Leo Aries, and then we have the Empress Libra energy here. So let's see what's going on so far. Oh, you could have cut somebody off. Maybe you have Air Aquarius in your chart. Okay, you could have Gemini. You could have both. But um, you could have cut somebody off real quick because of something that you found out, um, something that made you angry. Could have been an argument ensued between you and this person, and you just cut them off, you know? Now this person is, um, yeah, you could have turned your back on whatever you had with this person, you know, waiting for something better. Maybe this person kept up too much drama in your life, you know? It's too much, like I said, it was maybe it was too much arguing between you guys, or an argument ensued, something was found out, it cost the other people between you guys, and you cut them off. You weren't playing with them. You said what you had to say and you cut them off. You turn your back on the situation. All right? Waiting on something better for you to come along. All right? This person is coming in. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. They're coming in wanting a re reconciliation, wanting to reuni reunite with you. This person still holds a lot of passion for you. Fire is here as well. Sag, Leo, Aries. They hold a lot of passion for you and they're wanting a passionate new beginning. Okay? It could be two people. You could have a water sign coming in wanting to reunite reconcile or you could have a um a fire sign one in the, that has a lot of passion for you that wants a passionate new beginning the intimacy was great between y'all okay or this could be one person with all those in their chart water and fire okay eight of wands okay this person's in a situation where it's not exciting no more the passion is gone between him and who whoever else they have they, this person has somebody else but the passion's not there it's like look 
I said this before in another video. It's like they can't stand the sight of this person. Okay, they could be depressed because they, they feel stuck in a situation with someone that they don't want to be with. And they, they want to be with you. All right. They're going to come in with some communication, quick communication. All right. Real soon, you're going to get some communication with this person. All right. Or you are already. Maybe <sighs> some of you, it could be communication coming in between you guys. It, it could be, you know, communicating with you here and there. But they're in love with you. They see you as, you know, they're in love with you. Okay. Somebody could be pregnant. Okay, this person they're with could be pregnant. Okay. Um Virgo's energy. Virgo's energy. Four of Cups. This person wants to come in to you. Pisces Scorpio Cancer energy. They want to come in and give you an offer. Three of Pentacles is here. This is somebody that wants to work on a partnership of stability with you. All right. They're coming in with an offer where they want to work on a partnership of stability with you. Oh, and I must say, some of you, if it's not one person dealing with two different people that have two, two different people in their energy that want to be with them, this could be some of you guys, it's a water sign that you dealt with in your past. And some of you, it's a fire sign that you dealt with, with in your past. Okay. So it could be that way as well. You guys have to take it how it resonates. The four of swords is here. Um, they're wanting to come in and heal things with you. All right. They're also wanting to come in to heal things. It could be praying for a healing between you guys to help them move forward with you. The Queen of um Pentacles is here. They find you as very very, very nurturing. Okay, or somebody could have stability with a Taurus. All right, somebody could have stability with a Taurus that wants to be with you. All right, and this Taurus could be very nurturing to them. They could spoil them, keep them looking legit, zero, keep them in nice looking clothes, you know, make them feel good. You know, they just spoil this person. Okay, or this is how they're seeing you. Okay, and want stability with you, you know, seeing you as very luxurious, loving the way you dress. Um, Finding you very nurturing, okay? Finding you very secure in yourself, okay? And this has them wanting stability with you. This has them wanting to work on this partnership of stability with you. Or they're, 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 they're in a situation where they have no passion for this person, all right? But this person spoils them, keeps them looking good, keep them dressed nice, you know? And hair fine is here. Yeah. Taurus. Two Taurus is here. So they could be dealing with a Taurus. All right. This person that they're dealing with could have mental issues. All right. Um, this person could think about marrying you. Maybe the Taurus wants to marry this person. All right. They want marriage. But this person may want to marry you. Okay. They want to come in and heal things with you so they can move forward to a marriage, um, to a marital status with you. Okay, we have the King of Wands here. Yeah, you energy satisfy this person to the utmost, okay? Uh Aries energy. Okay, somebody dealing with an Aries, you you energy satisfy this person, okay? Like the sex may be better with you. Then with this person, like the sex was off the charts with this, you and this Aries, okay? Or um, to this Taurus, this, you know, this person innerly sex satisfies them sexually. It's very good to this Taurus. So they spoil them, they give them money, they, they do things for this person, all right? Because they make them feel good in the sexual department. It's good sexual wise. And they want to marry this Aries. This, this Taurus wants to marry this Aries. Um, Sun cards here. Leo energy. 
Something may going to be illuminated to you. Maybe you don't know this person is in a relationship. And it's going to be illuminated to you. Um, You make this Aries happy. Seven of Wands. You make this person happy. They want to come in reunion with you. Seven of Wands. They could have used to block you, fend you off, or they fend this... this um, Oh, okay. They fend this Taurus off. Sexually wise. Sexually wise, they fend this person off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You make them happy. So they fend this person off. So so they try not to have sex with this person or they don't. They don't have sex with this person because you literally satisfy this person mentally, physically. So they just daydream about being with you. You know, probably being sexually intimate with you. Look, they're holding on to you. Okay, you could have Leo in your chart. You might have Leo in your chart. Whoever I'm speaking to. You don't have to, but I'm just saying. Okay, this person may want to travel with you. You and this person may have a long history. You know, a lot of history between you guys. And they just sit there and think about that passion, the intimacy you guys used to have, things they used to do with you. And it, and it has them wanting to have a reunion with you. They could have used to fend you off in the past because they had somebody, a secret love. They, they had somebody that they had stability with as well. So that's for some of you guys. And they're realizing you're the one. They, they hold all this passion for you and they want to come back in reunion with you. Um, you, could, I, you could be, this is Page of Cups here. You could just be friends with this person now. So there could be some contact back and forth between you and this person. Even though you cut them off in the past, you guys came back around and started having communication. And you guys are communicating, but you're just friends with this person. Okay? Um, there could be some good news going to come in for somebody. Somebody's going to hear some a message or some good news is going to come in to you. Okay? Concerning this person. Maybe they want to travel with you, take a trip with you or something. Three of Swords. Okay? Um, oh, Lord. This person, be careful because, like I said, they do have stability with somebody. This is something you're going to find out about, okay? It's going to be illuminated to you. Use your intuition. This could be two telling you to use your intuition, be wise, okay? Because they're going to come in with some communication, want to move forward with you as well. Um, three of swords, they're, they're no longer want to be separated from you. This person, they could be heartbroken without you, or you need to use your intuition, be wise, use your wisdom. Cause you don't want any heartbreak. You know, um, you could have been heartbroken by this person in the past. That's why you cut them off. Could be, and you don't want them to put you in another heartbreak situation because it looks like here, they might have you in a third party. If you, you know, move forward in something intimate with this person okay so be careful because they could come back around and put you in a third party because they may come around wanting to travel with you take a trip with you or something um the page of swords is here they watch you a lot they keep very close tabs on you gemini energy this person could still be argumentative this person still could be um, full of drama somebody could like to gossip okay or if they get you in a third party, people will be gossiping about you. You don't want people talking about you behind your back about this person having you in a third party situation, putting drama in your life. Um, the Ace of Swords is here. You might need to just cut this person off. You don't need the drama. Or this person is trying to gain some clarity on how to get a new beginning with you, okay? And keep you in a third party at the same time. Could be that as well. Um, seven of swords is here. Yeah, you may need, like I said, you may need to cut them off because they're still going to come in deceiving you. All right, you don't need no drama in your life. This person is um being cunning and sneaky about something. You need to use your intuition concerning this person. It's Aries, you're dealing with an Aries. Okay, isolate yourself from this person because they're keeping secrets or they're going to keep you a secret. Wow, card fell right out. The high priestess, yeah, you need to you need to um isolate this yourself from this person. Use your intuition, okay, concerning this person because they're gonna probably still try to keep you. They're gonna deceive you. They're gonna deceive you. 
They're going to probably still keep you in a third party situation. Okay. By keeping you a secret. This person probably just have intentions on keeping you a secret. They're not going to let this person go because this person spoils them, does a lot for them. Okay, they keep them looking good in clothing, keep them with nice clothing. All right, so you need to use your intuition concerning this person. Um, you probably need to gain more insight. Once you use your intuition, you're going to be given more insight. You know, your intuition is going to show you, give you more insight concerning this person if you use your intuition, okay? So don't let this person come in and cloud your intuition. Don't let them throw you off balance. Temperance, Sag, um, Libra energy. Um, Virgo's energy, romance of a lifetime. Okay, yeah. Uh, the Ace of Cups is here. So this is either yeah, this is this is gonna give you some insight, but this person is already being they they, they have everything. They are already being fulfilled. This person fulfills their every need and want. Okay. Okay, they're already being fulfilled. That's why they're not going to let this person go. This person gives them everything they need and want. And they have a lot of passion for you. Okay, this person has a lot of sexual passion for you. Okay, intimacy. Where this woman, they just give them everything. Yeah, the Seven of Cups is here. This person going to come in feeding you illusions. Like you're in their fulfillment, but you're not. They're already being fulfilled by this person. This person giving them everything they need and want, the stories. All right? But they're going to come in and try to fool you, feed your illusions like you're everything they need and want. So they could get this passion from you, this intimacy from you. So this is your romance of a lifetime reading. This is what I have for you. Um, again, use your intuition. Get your Use your wisdom. And your wisdom, your intuition. Um, listen to your higher power on what they're telling you and what they show you about this person so you don't get hurt, so you don't get um, heartbroken again, the three of swords, you know, so you don't be in no crazy situations where people gossiping about you, they put you with third parties and talk about you, you know, people call you desperate, th things of that nature, you don't want that, to cause drama in your life, you don't want that, okay, so this is your romance of a lifetime reading Virgo, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video, okay. Um, new viewers, subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I hope I gave y'all some insight to help y'all. All right, be good. Until next time, I'm out, Virgos.